Welcome to Chemistry Concept and today we are going to discuss how to prepare for ITJ and especially chemistry. Okay, and as you are going for an engineering exam, you are going to be an engineer. So bring the mathematical approach in your study. That means you are going to be an engineer and you cannot fear about mathematics because most of the questions would be from mathematical background. So do the physical chemistry, especially thermodynamics, equilibrium, solid state, solution and chemical kinetics. These topics collectively cover about uh, 20% of the question paper. Okay, go through books, try to understand the basic concepts of these topics. Once you are clear with the basic concepts, try to solve the previous year questions. Okay, again, keep in your mind, thermodynamics, equilibrium, solid state solution and chemical kinetics. And the ma main thing is prepare all these together. That means don't do like this, that you are doing thermochemistry, thermodynamics, then you are moving to organic chemistry. Don't do like this. Just finish one portion together. And in physical chemistry, especially these five topics are the most important ones. Again, you are going to be an engineer, but not without inorganic chemistry. I've seen many students who are perfect in physical and organic, but still they don't get any rank because they don't do inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry questions are very easy to answer. They're direct based on the fact. And if you know the fact, you can do it within fraction of seconds. Like, like example, if I ask you among ammonia, NH3, and pH3, which one is more basic? Obviously, if you know the answer, NH3, it's, it's, it's NH3, nothing else. You can answer it within, uh, I think, second, one or two second, and it will give you equal marks as that of organic and inorganic. So organic and physical. So do inorganic chemistry for sure. Without inorganic chemistry, you won't get any rank. And especially P block elements, transition elements, and coordination compounds. Okay. These are the most important topics of inorganic chemistry. And be aware of organic chemistry. I'll suggest you to answer the questions of organic chemistry in the end. Start with organic chemistry, then move to physical, and at the end, go with organic chemistry. Obviously, if you are very master in organic chemistry, then go with organic chemistry. Otherwise, do it in the end because questions of organic chemistry are always tricky. They always have some hidden trick and they always create a lot of confusion because you won't be able to to identify sometime that whether this question is of alcohol or biomol or amines or, or aldehyde because the topics overlap. Okay, so it will create confusion. It will consume time and it will give you only that much marks, which would be uh, equal marks as that of inorganic or physical. Okay, mm -hmm. so do it in the end and be aware of organic chemistry and prepare especially alcohols, aldehyde ketones, carboxylic acids, amines, biomolecules. Okay. Apart from these polymers, chemistry in everyday life. And there was a chapter in 11th NCRT that is general organic chemistry, inductive effect and all do these accurately, correctly, perfectly practice with the mock test questions or the past year questions, take help of your, of your uh, teachers. And in case you find any difficulty, just post that to the uh, forum of chemistry concept. We are here to help you all the best. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry.